ESPN Studios, it's Braves B. Happy Friday, Braves, and welcome back to Braves B. I'm Nayla Ozerbegi. And I'm Patrick Langworthy. It's the first week of October, and fall is officially here. I think it's my favorite time of the year. I mean, you got football, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and all that big fall break we have next week. It's going to be a packed month, but we'll make sure to keep you updated. Let's dive into this week's top stories and see what's happening around campus. As we enter October, we celebrate Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This month is not just about pink ribbons. It's time for hope, community, and awareness. Our Volleyball Braves kick things off with Volley for a Cure, a fantastic event that brought together players and fans alike to raise funds and spread awareness about breast cancer. Great initiative, Braves. Let's continue to spread awareness, support one another, and light the way for those still fighting. Congrats to Indian Hill High School student musicians selected to perform with the OMEA All-State Choir and Orchestra Ensembles for 2025, including Aaron Scott, Nate Reich, Melissa Mensch, Grace Yu, and Freddie Kong. Great job and good luck. Congratulations to Mr. Brian Phelps on earning the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrator Association Certified Master Athletic Administrator Presidential. Well done, Mr. Phelps. As we wrap up the first quarter, next week brings some important schedule changes to announce. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will all be seven period days, so make sure you are ready. Then on Thursday, October 10th, we have the PSAT for grades 9 through 11, and seniors will not have school. Finally, Friday will be a professional development day for teachers, meaning no school for students. Woo! Yeah! Remember, the end of the first quarter is next Thursday, October 10th, so let's finish strong. Thursday, we had the opportunity to listen to ex-Chicago Cub Chris Singleton. His message about unity, love, community, and leadership is one to be remembered. I'm Patrick Langworthy here with Chris Singleton, our amazing guest speaker today. First of all, thank you for being here. My first question for you is, how has your experience at Indian Hill today been? Indian Hill has been amazing. I got to hang out with some first graders and third graders and then speak to all the uh, high schoolers as well as eighth grade. So I had a great time sharing my message of love and unity. I think it was received pretty well. Thank you, Mr. Singleton, for coming to our school. On October 6th through the 8th, our Indian Hill School District will be hosting the AASA Leadership and STEM Cordicitium Conference. I know, it's a mouthful. This will include educators, administrators, and industry leaders attending from across the country. So don't be alarmed, as you might see some of these people in our building during those days, checking out our amazing work. So remember, students, stay focused during those days, or at least look like you are. It's time for the Speak Sports Report with Chase and Henry. Take it away, guys. What's up, Braves? I'm Chase Rolf. And I'm Henry Cronin, here with this week's Sports Report. We've had some good games this week, so let's take a look. It's been an amazing week for Braves Athletics. This week, we're gonna talk about volleyball and a little bit of men's soccer. Let's get started. Volleyball has had a good week so far with two wins. Against Madeira, the Braves went down two sets at the start, 19 to 25 and 21 25. But they came back and won the game, winning the next three sets, 25 19, 25 23, and 15 13. Then they played Reading for youth night. They won the first set 25 to 10, then lost the next one 17 to 25, and won the next two sets 25 to 16 and 25 to 7 to finish the game. Volleyball also has some good stats this year. We have two people in the top five for kills, Mary Oaks in fourth with 127, and Ella Lewis in fifth with 122. Macy Everton is first in blocks in the CHL with 48. And overall, the girls volleyball team is in third place in the CHL ranking. Next, boys soccer is still undefeated, winning last Saturday 3-0 against Bellbrook and another big win Tuesday against Wyoming 2-1. There are also some amazing stats for boys soccer, starting with Connor Wilkes in first place in the CHL for offensive points with 58 and Naden Faber in third place with 34. For goals, Connor Wilkes is in first in the CHL with 22 and Aiden Faber is in fourth with 13. Connor's in first place again in assists with 14 and Aiden Faber is in second with 8. Finally, Alex Swallow is in first in the CHL for shutouts with nine. That's all the news we have this week. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks for the great update, you two. You are invited to the first business at breakfast for this school year. 
on October 24th from 7.30 to 8.50 a.m. in the high school cafeteria. Any 9th through 12th graders are welcome to attend. Scan the QR code on the screen to secure your spot now. There are a limited number of spaces available, so register ASAP. You might be asking, what exactly is this event? Well, this event is a chance for students to connect with community partners in an informal setting, so make sure to come on down. And hey, the breakfast was pretty good last year, so we hope you can join us. And we want to wish our Braves marching band good luck as they compete tomorrow at their competition at Loveland High School. Go Braves! All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. I'm here with Big Cat. Big Cat, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? Boys Don't Cry by Rod Wave. You listened to Rod Wave? Yes, I do. Well, thank you. I'm here with Grady Stahl. Uh, Gwady, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? You can oh. pull it up right now. Apple Music. Yeah. ASMR by 21 Savage. All right. I'm here with Callie Adams and Elodie Eminger. Uh, guys, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? The Morning by The Weeknd. Sunshine by Steve Lacey. I'm here with. Cody Goldstone. Sarah Burroughs. Guys, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? It was Spite by Omar Apollo. Uh, Still the Same by Autumn. I'm here with Miss Croston. Miss Croston, what was the last song you listened to like on your phone or on your computer? I've actually been watching last season's The Voice and just fell in love with Benson Boone's beautiful things so I looked it up on my computer and listened to it. That's wonderful thank you. I'm here with Mr. Boyer. Mr. Boyer what was the last song you listened to? Uh, the last song I listened to was called Night Owls by JD McPherson. It's a new album that he just put out. Fantastic song. You should go listen to it. Thank you. I I'm back again with Coach Hill. Coach Hill what was the last song you listened to? Kendrick Lamar They're Not Like Us. Wow, I mean, I, I, you know that's, that song? Yes, of course I do. Can yeah. you sing it for us? Um, no, I don't have a singing voice. I promise you. It, it, it's cool. Me either. I sing in the shower every day. They not like us. They, they not, not like, like us. us. They not like us. <laughs> uh, Mia, Mia, what's the song you're listening to right now? You broke my heart by Drake. <laughs> I'm here with the Mr. Ignatz. Mr. Ignatz, what was the last song you listened to on your phone or anywhere? Um, on the way to school this morning it was a Morgan Wallen song. Hold on, let me look. Uh, where was it? Oh, This Side of a Dust Cloud. By Morgan Wallen. Thank you. I I'm here with the Doc Watt. Doc Watt, what was the last song you listened to? Hot to Go by Chapel Run. Wow. All right, thank you. I'm here with Miss Spilly. Miss Spilly, what was the last song you listened to on your phone or like anywhere on the radio? It was Urgent by Foreigner, which probably nobody knows. And uh, I, it was what I woke up, up to this morning when my alarm went off. Thank you so much. I You're appreciate welcome. it. You're yeah. welcome. You're looking up. I'm here with Holden. Holden, what was the last song you listened to? Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. Thank you, that's awesome, man. Thank you. I'm here with James. James, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? Uh, F My BM by Moneybag Yo. All right, thank you. I'm here with Mac. Mac, what was the last song you listened to? Um, it was Free From Desire. Really? Oh. Oh yeah, that happened. Uh, Wyoming was talking all their smack, and then they lost. And uh, so you guys are garbage. I'm here with Cam and Hunt. Guys, what was the last song you listened to? I'm not for you, Pat. It is uh, "Drugs You Should Try It" by Travis Scott. Okay, uh, just to clarify, it is the song. And what about you? What did you listen to? Um, dreams, fairy tales, and fantasies. A little ASAP Berg. <laughs> All right, thank you. Appreciate I'm here with James Alexander. James, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? Earthquake by Tyler the Creator. 
That's a good one. Thank you. Yep. I'm here with Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, what was the last song you listened to on your phone? Full Moon Brandy. Classic R&B artist right there. Look her up. All right. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right. I'm here with... Sophia Heineken. Ashley McGarner. And Ella Hinch. Guys, what was the last song that you looked up on, like, or listened to on your phone? Um... Mine was Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. Mine was Chasing You by Morgan Wallen. Mine was Apple Pie by Travis Scott. All right, thank you guys, I appreciate it.